Gwyneth Paltrow is a Hollywood actress, famous for her roles in melodramas. Especially popular she made a sudden change of roles Gwyneth Paltrow played a businesswoman in a blockbuster comic book Iron Man, based on a story about a superhero publishing Marvel. Professional recognition was brought to the actress by the film Shakespeare in Love, for the main role in which she won the Oscar and Golden Globe Awards. Childhood and Youth Gwyneth Paltrow was born in Los Angeles to a creative family. Her father is the director Bruce Paltrow, her mother is the popular actress Blythe Danner. Gwyneth also has a younger brother, Jake, who followed in his father's footsteps. There are other famous relatives in the family. Gwyneth and Jake's cousin is actress Catherine Menig, known for many television series, and a third cousin Gabrielle Giffords is a member of the US Congress. Paltrow's godfather is the famous film director and producer Steven Spielberg. Gwyneth grew up in Santa Monica, California. When she was 11 years old, the family moved to New York, where her mother was offered an interesting job in one of the theaters. In this city, she graduated from a specialized school for girls. As a teenager, Gwyneth often attended performances with her mother and twice took part in them herself. The first exit to the professional theatrical stage for the girl was the play The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by the famous classic novel by Mark Twain. After receiving her high school diploma, Gwyneth returned to Santa Monica and went to the University of California at Santa Barbara. She chose to major in art history, but did not graduate, deciding to opt for a career as a film actress. Movies Paltrow's first appearance on the screens was the cameo role of Rebecca in the 1991 film Shout, starring John Travolta. In the same year, she starred in an unusual sequel to the fairy tale Peter Pan, the film hook about the grown-up characters of the story. Gwyneth got the role of the grown-up Wendy. As a young actress played in the thriller Malice, a biography of the writer Dorothy Parker Mrs. Parker and the Vicious Circle, the historical drama Jefferson in Paris, the famous psychological thriller Seven. More notable images got Gwyneth in the drama Hard Eight, where she plays a waitress working as a night butterfly and the romantic comedy The Pallbearer, in which she performs the role of Julie DeMarco the main character's headache. The first big character came to the actress in 1996. In the adaptation of the famous novel by Jane Austen Emma she played the main role. For her performance in this movie Paltrow won the Satellite Awards for Best Actress in a Motion Picture Comedy. This success was followed by major roles in the romantic fiction drama Sliding Doors, an adaptation of the classic novel by Charles Dickens' Great Expectations, the thriller Hush and a remake of Alfred Hitchcock's Style M for Murder, which was called A Perfect Murder. And the next two paintings gave Gwyneth the opportunity to stand in line with the brightest stars of Hollywood. Work in the film The Talented Mr. Ripley caused a stream of positive reviews from film critics, and the main female role in the tragicomedy Shakespeare in Love gave the actress the most prestigious award Oscar for Best Actress. In addition to it, the star received a Golden Globe and a Screen Actors Guild Award. In the new millennium, the actress began to choose roles only in melodramas and romantic comedies, such as The Royal Tenenbaums, Shallow Hell, Bounce, Possession, Proof, The Good Night and many others. Most of these pictures were commercial projects, and Gwyneth makes no secret of the fact that gave them a preference for the tempting fees. In 2003, the actress appeared in the comedy View from the Top, where she reincarnated in the heroine, who ran away from home and dreams of becoming a flight attendant. In 2006, on the wave of popularity of movies based on comic books, there was Iron Man, where Gwyneth appeared in the form of Pepper Potts, who is the assistant to the main character. The film became a box office success, with two sequels following in 2010 and 2013. Paltrow's character is secondary in these pictures. Nevertheless Pepper Potts was developed and was revealed as an interesting heroine. The girl went from secretary to director of the company, getting the right to run the corporation on her own. Pepper Potts became the love interest of Tony Stark, began dating him and broke up remaining friends, was taken hostage, experienced dangerous experiments and even visited a superheroine. Difficulties in the filming of films caused a difference in Hype Paltrow and Robert Downey, who played the main role of the billionaire Tony Stark, who became a superhero, Iron Man. Gwyneth even without heels is taller than her movie partner, and as Pepper Potts, a businesswoman and adheres to a formal dress style, Paltrow appeared in the frame in stiletto heels. To maintain the height ratio of the original comic, where Stark is taller than the assistant, the filmmakers went for tricks, 
In the general scenes Robert Downey was put on dais, gave out shoes on a hidden platform, used deceptions of vision and visual effects. In 2012, the actress again appeared in this role in the superhero crossover The Avengers. Of the other works, it is worth highlighting the participation in the musical television series Glee, in which the star performs the role of Holly Holiday. For her, Gwyneth received an Emmy Award as Best Guest Actress. She was nominated for an Independent Spirit Award for her outstanding performance in the romantic drama Two Lovers. And in the movie Country Strong she demonstrated her vocal skills by singing a number of songs for the soundtrack. Gwyneth has performed as a singer on several occasions, recording songs for films with her participation. She first recorded the single Cruisin' as a duet with Hugh Lewis for the film Duets. The song managed to top the Australian charts. And in the movie Country Strong she performs four songs, Country Strong, Shake That Thing, Coming Home and Me in Tennessee. In addition, Paltrow's voice can be heard on the record Come On, Come On by singer Cheryl Crow, where they duet with the song It's Only Love. In 2015, there is a new movie with Gwyneth. The film Mordecai, based on the novels of Cyril Bonfiglioli, was released. Paltrow's partner on the set was Johnny Depp, who played the role of Charles Mordecai, a crook, an art expert and the husband of Paltrow's heroine. According to Gwyneth, she long failed to kiss the performer of the main role. The actress left comical mustache, which were necessary to create the image of a conman. Because of the non-serious mood Paltrow had to use a few doubles. Despite the stellar cast, the film failed at the box office and received a lot of negative reviews from film critics. In 2016, the actress returned to the role of Pepper Potts in another film about the superhero Team Avengers Captain America. Civil War, which is about the split within the team due to political and ideological differences. Despite the fact that the artist participated in the filming of this part of the franchise, scenes involving her character did not get into the rental version of the film. The film received positive reviews, the main plus is critics called the well-thought-out plot, including the development of the characters and the atypical conflict, which moved away from the classic for action films and superheroes confrontation of good and evil and shows the clash of the concepts of freedom and security. Personal Life Paltrow's first known young man was actor Robert Sean Leonard, whom she dated in the early 90s. In 1994, Gwyneth met Brad Pitt, and the couple began a long-term romance. It was even announced that they were engaged, but after three years, the young people broke off relations as Gwyneth has repeatedly publicly regretted. According to the performer, at that time she was still too young and did not plan any serious changes in her personal life. Also, her relationship with the actor and director Ben Affleck lasted for three years. In 2002, the actress meets musician Chris Martin. The couple met for about a year, and then in December 2003, they got married. In this marriage the couple had two children, daughter Apple and son Moses. Gwyneth and Chris lived together for 10 years, then another year they communicated at a distance, but in the spring of 2015 they officially divorced. Almost immediately it became known about Gwyneth's relationship with TV producer Brad Falchek, who was known to her since her days of shooting in the TV series Glee. In early 2018, the couple got engaged, and in the fall, Brad became the actress' legal husband. In April 2017, the celebrity announced that she was launching a new glossy magazine Goop. It is based on Gwyneth's existing website of the same name. On her online portal, the artist covers the issues of proper nutrition, fitness training, skin care. American Vogue editor Anna Winter took part in the creation of the print version. The actress also produces her own cosmetics line Goop Skincare based on the Juice Beauty Ecological Cosmetics brand. Making the presentation of the new product, Gwyneth demonstrated the naturalness of beauty products by using the cream as gravy for French fries. Since 2005 Paltrow cooperates with Estee Lauder Perfume Company, being the face of one of the cosmetics lines. Over the years, the actress manages to maintain a blooming look. She considers her secretive youth to be a good mood, a healthy diet and sports, to which Gwyneth gives at least two hours a day. The result of her work the performer regularly demonstrates on her personal Instagram account. In 2017, the Hollywood star once again participated in a photo shoot for the cover of Women's Health magazine. To appear in the frame, she chose a red swimsuit and used minimal makeup. 
In the photo, Gwyneth showed not only a trim figure with pumped abs, but also well-groomed skin. Gwyneth Paltrow now. Now the filmography of the Hollywood star is replenished mainly with works in the famous franchise about the adventures of the Marvel superhero team. In 2018, the film Avengers, Infinity War was released on the screens, and in 2019 Avengers, Endgame. The main time the artist gives to the development of her business. The cost of the lifestyle company Goop, which Gwyneth develops, is estimated at $250 million. The star said that she is ready to sell her company to the head of Amazon Corporation Jeff Bezos. Paltrow has repeatedly tried to get in touch with him, but the richest man on the planet long ignored the letters of the performer, and after a short communication again stopped answering her messages. The film diva told reporters from the Wall Street Journal about this. In 2019, the actress became the subject of a case on an incident that happened three years ago. A Utah resident sued the performer for $3 million over a collision at the Deer Valley Resort ski area that happened in 2016, which was Gwyneth's fault. The elderly man, who was hit by the artist while skiing downhill, suffered broken ribs and a head injury. According to the victim, the Oscar-winning actress not only didn't offer help, but she didn't even apologize to him for what happened.